Hello everyone, welcome to online study for you. One step solution for all your placement needs. So today in this video, we are going to discuss the Infosys pseudo course that was asked today itself on 21st of November. So make sure to watch the complete video. This video will definitely help you out in understanding the type of questions they are asking the difficulty level and everything we are going to explain in a very explainable manner so that you can understand right so without any further delay let's come to our first question so here's our first question that uh, okay so this is a function f to this function so this is accepting an integer argument a so what we are pa passing to this function is 55 so what will be the value of a that will be nothing but 55 so then we are processing uh, something inside the function so let's explore inside the function we are having an integer i that has been initialized with zero now we are having a while loop where we are continuing in the while loop till the time this condition isn't true it means that till the time a mod 10 is not equal to zero so what is the value of a 55 55 mod 10 if you're going to do is first of all let me tell you that what this modulus operator does so 55 you have if you are dividing 55 by 10 what you will be getting is as remainder 5 right you will be getting 5 as the remainder so is it equal to 0 no right modulus operator basically provides you the remainder that is what i mean to say so 5 is not equal to 0 so we'll be uh, moving inside the while loop we are setting the value of a we are setting the value of a as a plus 3 so what will be the value of a now 58 and i value we are incrementing by i value we are incrementing by 1 so i will be 1 now again we are checking so 58 mod 10 is it equal to 0? No, right? It will be what? It will be 8. So again, we'll be moving in, uh, in the while loop and incrementing 3 inside the value of A. So value of A will be 61 now and I value will be 2. Again, 61 mod 10 is not equal to 0. It will be 1. So 1 not equal to 0. So we'll be updating the value of A as 61 plus 3. So 61 plus 3 will be giving you what? Yes, 61 plus 3 will be giving you what? 64 64 you will be having 61 plus 3 will be giving you 64 64 and i value we are changing to i plus 1 that is nothing but 3 again we are going to check so 64 mod 10 is not equal to 0 right so we'll be moving inside the while loop again and we'll be updating the value of as 64 plus 3 that is nothing but 67 and i value will be changed to 4 again 67 mod 10 it will be giving you 7 which is not equal to 0 so we'll be moving inside the while loop and we'll be updating the value of 67 as 67 plus 3 that is nothing but 70 and i will be updated to 5 now this time if you will check so 70 mod 10 is going to give you what so if you will do 10 divided by 70 you will be getting nothing but 0 so we are so this time the condition is false right this time okay so this time the condition this condition that has been given that a mod 10 not equal to 0 so this is false because this time it is 0 right so we'll, we won't be moving inside the while loop now we are updating the value of a as a minus i so what is the value of a 70 what is the value of i 5 so a value will be updated to 65 and that is what we are returning so what will be printed what will be the output 65 will be the correct output of this question 65 right hope that is clear it's just uh, this question was all about this modulus operator and just some sort of computation was involved otherwise that was an easy question here I'll come to our next question so here you have to determine the output of this pseudo code what will be the output of this given pseudo code so we are having two integers i as well as j where i has been initialized to 2 and j has been initialized to 5 now we are having a for loop till the time minus minus i so as if this is what pre-decrement in case of pre-decrement what is the funda the funda is first change then use so first the value of i will be changed to one right because we are decrementing uh, a pre-decrement we are doing so that will change to one and then we are going to use that value of i that is nothing but one so one and j plus plus this is what this is what post increment in post increment what we have post post what we have post we have first use then change so j value will be taken as it is that is nothing but that is nothing but 
uh, 5. But just see one thing, there is not a major role of j in this condition because just we are simply incrementing the value, right? We are simply incrementing the value. No way we are checking for any particular condition of j or so. So there is no such major role of j. So you can just even neglect it even. So your focus should be on this i because here we are checking to continue in the loop till this uh, till the time this condition is true. That is, i should be lesser than that of 20. So 1 we have in i and now we are checking 1 less than 20. Yes, it is. So you have to print a. Hey, a hey will be printed. Then i value will be updated to i plus 3. So i will be for this time 4 is less than 20. Yes, the condition is true. So again, a hey will be printed. Then we are updating the value of i is 4 plus 3. That is 7. 7 less than 20. Yes, it is. So a will be printed. Then we are updating the value of i is 7 plus 3. That is 10. 10 less than 20. Right, so hey will be printed. Then again, 10 plus 3 will be giving you 13, 13 less than 20. So hey will be printed. Again, we'll be incrementing the value of i by 3. So 16 less than 20. So hey will be printed. Then 16 plus 3 will be giving you 19. 19 is less than 20. So hey will be printed. Later on, 19 plus 3 will be giving you 22, which is not lesser than that of 20. So we will come out of the loop. So how many times we printed? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that will be the correct output for our particular question. Hope that is clear for you. We haven't put major focus on J value because we don't, it, it doesn't even matter because there is no such uh, specified condition or something given and J value will keep on incrementing. It is not reducing anywhere uh, because you know that 0 if something is there. So 0 denotes to false condition. But if it is incrementing, so it will always present, represent a true value right you know that zero represents false other values represents true that's why we, you don't have to put focus on this j value your main focus should be on this i value right so hope that is clear let's proceed to our next question that is a easy question but somewhat tricky so here you know like a comma can be used as a separator we usually use as a separator but let me tell you that comma also acts as a operator so here in this question comma is acting as an operator and if talking about the precedence order of the comma so precedence in terms of precedence comma has the lowest precedence when i talk to, when we're talking about the operator so it has the lowest precedence so we are simply having an integer a here we have set the value of a as zero now we are checking the condition that till the time a values equal equal to zero what you have to do okay Sorry, we are just simply checking if a equal equal to 0 or not. So you can see here we have set the value of a as 0. So obviously this if condition is going to be true. So now we are doing what? We are setting the value of a. Now you must be confused that what should be the value this 1, 4 or 10. Let me tell you in terms of precedence the comma value is very low but as if you have used the brackets here and you know the you know that brackets are the highest precedence so we'll be moving till the last so first a value will be set to one but again there's a bracket we have to move further a equal to four then at the last we have set a equal to ten so the value of a is going to be 10. if instead of writing like this the there was expression like this a equal to one two Three. So as if I told that in case of comma, the precedence is low. So what will happen in that case? Just simply a equal to 1 should be set and 1 should be our output. But as of now, we have put the bracket. So we'll be moving till the end. And at the last, we have set the value of a as 10. So hence, the correct output for this one will be 10. So 10 will be the correct answer for this particular question. Hope that is clear. Even you can read uh, some sort of stuff about this comma operator that how does it work and all. Uh, so sometimes like companies do ask these kind of tricky questions because perhaps most of us are not aware of these facts, right? Okay, so here's our next question. So we have integer values number res first second third. So number value is 2821. Now we are doing some sort of modification. So res value we are putting as number mod 10. What is the value of number 2821? If you are dividing it by 10, what will be your remainder? 1. So res value will be nothing but 1. Now we are reducing the number uh, as number divided by 10. So if you will be dividing this number by 10, what will be your quotient? 282 so number is 282 now now we are uh, putting in third number mod 10 so uh, if this is our, our number now right 282 so 282 mod 10 will be giving you nothing but 2 so 2 is stored in third now we are further reducing our number 282 
uh, by dividing it by 10 so number will be 28 now now in second we are storing the value number mod 10 so this is our number if you will divide our number by 10 what will be the remainder 8 so 8 is stored in second then we are further reducing our number by dividing it by 10 so what will be a number now 2 now we are uh, again if you will take mod of this number by 10 what will be getting 2 itself so now we are having an integer summit to which we are doing some sort of computation so res res is nothing but 1 plus second into 10 so what is the value of second 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 that is 8 8 into 10 will be giving you 80 then third into 100 so what is the value of third 2 2 into 100 will be giving you 200 then first into 1000 what is the value of first 2 2000 so what will be the uh, 2000 plus 200 2200 then 2200 Right, 2281. That should be the correct output for this particular question. 2281. Let me write it again. 2281. This value stored in submit will be 2281, and that is what will be printed. So, 2281 will be the correct answer. So, here we have moved to our next question. Let's explore this question as well. So, what we are doing is we are having three integers a, b, as well as x. A value set to 10, b value set to 20, x value set to 0. Then we are simply checking if b greater than a. b value is what? 20. 20 is greater than that of 10 because a value is 10. Yes, the condition is true. So, we will we'll be moving inside this uh, condition and inside this we have a for loop where c value has been initialized with 10. Uh, that is a now. So, a value is what? 10. And it will move up to till the time c is lesser than that of b. That is nothing but 20. And then we are simply incrementing the value of c. Now, what we are doing is we are uh, changing, modifying the value of x as x minus c. So, x value is what? 0. So, 0 minus c. C value is what? 10 will be giving you minus 10. Now, c value will be what? 11. 11 lesser than that of 20. So, again, we are updating the value of x as minus 10 minus 10. 11 so this time what you will be getting is minus cut okay so minus cut 21 you are supposed to get okay and again c value will be 12 this time 12 is lesser than that of 20 so we will be getting minus cut 21 minus cut 12 2 plus 1 3 and 2 plus 1 3 minus cut 33 so this time c value will be what 13 13 is lesser than that of 20 yes the condition is true so x value will be updating as minus ka 33 minus ka 13 3 3 6 c plus 1 4 46 minus ka then uh, c value will be 14 yes the condition is still true so x value we are updating as minus ka 46 minus ka 14 which will be giving you 6 plus 4 10 4 plus 1 5 and carry is there so minus 16 c value will be 15 15 lesser than 20 the condition is still true so the x value will be updated as minus ka 16 minus ka 15 so you will be getting minus ka 75 c value will be 16 now 16 is lesser than that of 20 so minus ka 75 and minus ka 16 6 plus 5 1 11 7 plus 1 8 and you carry so 91 uh, now c value will be 17 the condition is still true so minus ka 91 minus ka 17 7 plus 1 8 9 plus 1 10 so x value again we have to calculate 18 the value of a uh, c is 18 the condition is still true minus 1 0 8 minus ka 18 you will be having 8 plus 8 16 and here will be 2 and this right so that is what we are going to have minus ka 126 and now c value is 19 19 lesser than that of 20 the condition is still true so you'll be having minus ka 126 minus ka um 19 so that is going to give you what minus ka 145 9 plus 6 15 and 2 plus 1 3 carries there so minus ka 145 you are going to have then c value will be what 20 20 lesser than that of 20 the condition is false right so we will come out of the for loop. so what will be the correct answer uh minus ka 145 because you can see here we are simply printing the um, x value so x value is what minus ka 145 else part won't be executed because this if condition was true right so minus ka 145 will be the correct answer for this question so these were some of the questions for you that were asked in today's slot i hope that you must have got a sort of understanding well this video was just to give you a kind of insight in what order of like what is the difficulty level of question that has been asked in Infosys. so hope that everything is clear some sort of computational they are but uh, overall they are easy right so i hope the video was helpful for you thank you so much for watching this video guys keep learning keep preparing bye bye